It's an eight to 10 year journey to do big things. Elected officials and strategic partners from across the coastal empire gathered at the botanical gardens to hear the findings of GDOT's Coastal Empire Transportation Study. It's gonna take an effort on all our parts at the state level, at the county level, and at the city level to work toward funding and revenue such that we can deliver these projects that we know we need to deliver. The study was an overview specifically focused on freight transport throughout the state and locally. In 2019, nearly half a billion tons of freight moved through the state, and by 2050, it would nearly double to 900 million. Now, food and agriculture in the next 25 years is going to grow by 43 percent, but manufacturing is going to grow by 77 percent in the next 25 years. The study was initiated last year focused on a timeline that identified corridors and intersections, analyzed growth trends, improvement ideas, and insightful recommendations. Um, if you look on the left, that's the, the level of service or level of congestion for um, 2020. And on the right is what we would anticipate if there's no improvements done, is what we look like in 2050. The numerous corridor improvements in the works that officials say will actually help with congestion on major arteries, like the I-16, 21, and 204 widening projects impacting Chatham, Bullock, and Effingham counties, and totaling a $1 billion investment. There is a $400 million package of intersection and interchange projects, including highways 80 and 17, I-16 and Pooler Parkway, and 17 and Chatham Parkway, just to name a few, which GDOT officials say will help remedy traffic congestion. A reduction in vehicle hours of delay, 58% uh, is so a significant potential reduction. There is the I-16 frontage road project that will construct a four-lane frontage road along eastbound I-16, the I-16 US-280 interchange, to the new I-16 at Old Kyler Road Interchange. Our completion timeline for this is time to, uh, to be in line with the uh, operation of the Hyundai facility. So as they stand up their operation and they start producing vehicles, trucks start coming in and out, we will have this road up and running uh, for them to utilize as part of that operation. Then there is the Talmadge Bridge maintenance project that will raise the bridge profile and replace its existing cables, bridge bearings, and joints. The overall uh, maintenance project will take a number of years. Traffic will remain open uh, on the Talmadge as we carry this out. So all things being said, as it's being raised, ideally, you, you really wouldn't notice it because it would just be the slow, gradual uh, change as these cables are being replaced. From the Bull River Bridge replacement project on your way to Tybee, to the Airways Avenue interchange in Pooler, and north to the Effingham Parkway new roadway location by Blue Jay Road, one thing's for sure, money spent now will pay dividends in the future. Just a few of the projects that's taken place in Chatham and the surrounding counties. But if you just look at these projects alone, um, collectively, the total project investment for all these projects is $571.6 million. And officials say it's to accommodate all the growth of the Coastal Empire. We at GDOT are starting that process, this study and planning process, to map out a future long range such that we all can work together to get to the future that we want. Reporting for the Chatham County Public Information Office, Robert Katniss.